Ever wonder where your cat goes when you're not around? Fran Herkum did. I initially wanted to get a GPS, a little tracking unit, if I could find a little wee one, you know, and just follow him on a map and see where he was. But the GPS unit wasn't very practical. And then a friend said he saw something online called a cat cam, and it was in Germany um, on a website. So I looked it up, and I thought, no, that's what we need. You think I'd get that on you? A photographer herself, Herkum considered the $60 camera a good investment. Is. She set the camera to take a shot every two minutes. Over the course of the summer, Leo took hundreds. A lot of them are moving, you know. He's running and, and the camera's swaying, so there's a lot of movement, and which were kind of cute, but, you know, kind of <laughs> could be anything. But when he was actually sitting still, I was just shocked at how sharp the pictures were. And it's so interesting to see because he's down so low. Some of Leo's pictures are so good that people have started asking Herkum for copies. Neighbour Dave Kellett says he's impressed by Leo's eye. I've seen the pictures and they're pretty good. In fact, they're so good I'm starting to wonder if maybe Leo hasn't been taking pictures for a long time and Fran has just been claiming them as her own. <laughs> Leo isn't the first cat photographer, but Herkum says his pictures of the city's rustic old town show promise. She put that's together some of his street, best shots on a poster the, the that's now on sale at Yellowknife's Down to Earth Gallery, where the artist himself can often be found. Since his poster came up, he seems to be here more often, maybe because it's spring or because he knows his poster is here. He comes and he lays in the middle, of the level, goes around people's ankles, plays really flamboyant. Usually he's pretty standoffish, but now he's been pretty, you know, out there mingling with the public. <laughs> The cat camera can be used on animals other than cats, but Herkum says the results lack Leo's artistic flair. They put one on a cow up in the Swiss Alps, <laughs> and that was really funny. A lot of cow bums and cow noses and beautiful mountains in the background. Herkum expects Leo's career as a photographer to last as long as his camera does. Jennifer Hunt, CBC News, Yellowknife.